Today, I want to talk about using Power BI dashboard connecting to SBase. We're going to use a product from CasaBase software called Exo Insight. It's a fantastic product and allows you to connect to SBase through Power BI. I suggest you visit their website, as shown here on the slide, if you'd like more information. So basically what we're doing, we're going to query SBase to Power BI. We're going to use CasaBase software to use their web-based tool to query to get our point of view. And then we're going to build a dashboard within minutes. So first thing I do is I open my browser, and you can use Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Google Chrome. They all work. I'm going to put in the URL to the CasaBase software to my query, because I want to be able to query my point of view from SBase. So here the first thing I do is I type in the name of my environment. You can name this anything, and this is something you do during the CasaBase Exo Insight installation and configuration, which I can say takes less than five minutes. So my environment here, I called it query. My SBase application, demo, basic. I'm going to put in my SBase username, password, and I'm going to click view outline. As seen here, my outline for SBase shows up. What I can do, you have many options. You can right click, choose children, descendants, leaves, members, siblings. I'll choose descendants here. For my market, I'll choose east, west, and south. My product, I'm going to expand, expand a little more. Choose stereo, compact disc, television, VCR, camera. Scroll down, choose my accounts. I want my profit, expand my margin. I want margin, sales, cost of goods sold. My scenario, I'll right click, choose the children. Scroll up. If I choose Run Query, you'll see it now pulls in my information from SBase based on my selections. Very fast and quick. It also creates my point of view up here, which I'll use in Power BI. Now I'm going to go build my dashboard. As mentioned, we can build something very quick. I'll click File, Open, CasaBase Software provides the templates that you use to connect to SBase. I'll click my enterprise one. It's going to prompt me for my URL. My SBase username, my application, the cube, my point of view string. I go over to my browser, and this is why this is a fantastic tool. Now I can just go over here to my point of view that it created for me, copy, go back to Power BI, paste this in my point of view string, click load, give it a minute or so. Apply my changes, double check, and my data is listed here. So now I'll go over and I have my dimensions in my fields. Allows me to go ahead and create my dashboard. As I mentioned, we can create a dashboard, very basic, in just a couple of minutes that allows us to get a visual of what's going on in SBase. Here I'll click a chart by my market. We'll click another graph by our accounts and amount. Click another visual, we want the amount by product. We can click and create a quick pie chart by our accounts and our amounts. Now we also have the ability to slice and dice based on our selections. We'll click over in our visualizations, slicer. Here we want to be able to sort or slice by market. These are basically just check boxes that allows us to check what we want to see. We'll create another one by product. We can create a quick table by our accounts and our amount. And now we can have a full picture of our business. What this allows us to do, here's our dashboard. So now if we want to slice and dice, we can go and just take a look for our market east and everything in Power BI updates automatically. Our values, our pie charts, our amount by accounts, our amount by market. 
We want to go instead and look at the West. Now we can see the West. All we have to do is uncheck and it shows everything. Now if we want to look at our total market, for example stereo, we can click and everything is updated. Cost of goods sold, margin, profit, sales for stereo. So as shown, we can create a very quick dashboard pulling information from our SBase application with the CASA-based XO Insight product. I highly recommend looking for this information at the websites. And if you want more information, you can take a look here. I'll leave this slide up. You can write down the URLs from CASA-based software, or if you need help with your Hyperion environment with SBase or setting it up with Power BI, you can contact us at findwebsolutions.com.